Hey everyone, it's Chila here from Zalanias. Welcome back to another Glitter Bars video. So today I'm going to do a super easy design with gel polish. I'm using Put Me On. As you can see, I already applied the first layer. And then I cured it in my lamp for 60 seconds. And now I'm applying my second layer. And then I will cure it in the lamp for 60 seconds as well. I will mix white gloss and no white top coat together just to water it up a little bit. I don't want the white to be too bright. But make sure you mix the colors really well. I'm using my gorgeous detailer brush which is available on the website and don't forget you can use my discount code which is Zara at the checkout so you can have a little cheeky money off on your next order. At the moment you cannot really see the flower petals because it's very see-through but when I will add the outline everything is gonna comes alive comes together so yes it's going to look really really nice and pretty and the good thing about this design is good in any sort of time like summer or winter or autumn or spring especially the people who loves um nudeness they're going to love this set and this is quite easy to create i mean the i mean the flowers they are quite easy i just added three petals on the side cured it in the lamp for 60 seconds and now i'm just outlining the petals and i'm making sure they are not touching each other i mean the lines and i do not go all the way down to the bottom because i will going to add some cute little dots and I find these practice tips are quite um, long. So I thought I'm just going to add some little cute details here and there just to fill the design up. I mean the nail up a little bit because otherwise I find it, it looked a bit too plain. But if you do this design in a shorter nails, of course you shouldn't fill up the nail as much because it's going to be too crowded and it's going to be too busy i think sometimes it's less than is more so if i would do this in a short nail i would probably just add the three petals with the outline and maybe a few little dots here and there and just a little swirly line that's it and of course crystals as well because we all love crystals and sparkle On this finger, I thought it's going to be too boring if I just going to leave it like that. So I thought I just going to add some lines and leaves and more lines and some dots. So yes, you don't need to do that. It's just I thought, why not? Or maybe you could do a glittery nails instead of another pattern or maybe you can add the shattered silver on top of this gel polish that would be lovely as well or some sparkle definitely some sparkle or you can just leave it as it is but please don't forget when you apply all of these gel polishes cure it in the lamp for 60 seconds before you apply the top coat 
if you're going to recreate this design please don't forget to tag us on instagram or you can share it on the glitterbell support group it would be lovely to see and please tag me in there as well because i would love to see your creations and here you can see i'm adding swarovskis and these are so beautiful i'm using base glue and i will wait a few seconds before i apply my cuticle oil on my silicone hand I really hope you like this video if you do please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching see you soon bye